Welcome to the free analytics today. Uh, this will be a very quick uh, video. Again, if I'm hoping you're watching these through the video channel, uh, and, and so they, some of them are sequential. This is going to be part three of the inventory creation. It's going to be very simple if you've already been following along. We're not going to cover a whole lot of details. Basic principle, we went through the Corelight con logs. We created a inventory list of my internal network. And that's great, but I want to leverage it somewhere else. So one of the things you can do is you can just make your own lookup file. And all you need to do is go pipe output lookup. That's the command. It will write a CSV for you. And you can do the name it. I'm going to call it my inventory. Not a very descriptive name. I highly recommend writing a better name for it. But if I go do this, I run, hit the run command. It is going to write the contents into a CSV. And then I, I'm going to tell you, I did not actually create the CSV before uh, recording this video. So this did not exist, but you, it will now ha have been created after running it. And we can validate that by jumping to this next tab. And if I run this, I get back, there's the CSV. So I can call it, I can do searches on it, the data is being stored. Uh, it's a great way of holding on to some information. If it's a value to you, you don't wanna have to keep running the search for it, throw it off into a lookup like a CSV and let that store it for you. Hope this helps you. Uh, if you like this, uh, like the channel, subscribe, uh, put comments down below, join my Discord. There's lots of ways I wanna hear your feedback and I hope this helps you move from being a lame analyst to a Splunk Ninja.